Hi, I'm Nancy Baggett. Welcome to the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my all-time favorite, favorite way to roll out cookies. Some people use a floured surface, but I like this method a lot better. I use it in all the cookies that are rolled in Simply Sensational Cookies, and it was used to make these cookies and many others in the book. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to be working with my all-purpose sugar cookie dough. It's from Simply Sensational Cookies. It's called Good and Easy Sugar Cookie Dough. As you can see, it makes a fairly large batch. Now the first thing I want to tell you is you don't use a floured surface. We're going to use wax paper or in this case, baking parchment is preferable. But because it's a large batch, I'm going to divide it in thirds. This will work with any sugar cookie dough you have, but if you had a smaller batch, you might want to divide it only in half. The big advantage of rolling out between parchment or wax paper is that the dough doesn't get overly floury. You don't need to chill this dough first, by the way, at all. If the dough seems a little wet and soft when you mix it up, you simply put it aside and the moisture in the dough will gradually absorb. The secret is you want it to be as evenly thick as possible. Now you could tape the paper to the counter, but I simply lean against it. I think that works equally well. So here we go. Now there is a tip. If you're really not very good at using your best judgment and getting it evenly thick, my pastry chef teacher, very famous pastry chef named Roland Resnier taught me this method. I used these sticks. I simply got a stick in a craft store and it is three eighth inch thick. What that means is if the dough is supposed to be rolled to one quarter, it will work perfectly. So as you can see, what I would do is simply roll back and forth. Obviously, if you were rolling a dough a little thicker, you would need dowels that were one fourth inch or slightly larger. Now, one thing you need to do is check the underside and make sure that it's not wrinkling. Sometimes it wrinkles. This one looks great. Okay, so I'm simply going to keep rolling in all directions. If, despite your best efforts, you absolutely cannot get it rolled out evenly thick, there is a tip for that too. When you are cutting out your cookies, you'll simply put the thicker cookies, which tend to be the ones in the middle, the thicker cookies, you put them on the baking sheet around the outside. Then they will bake a little faster. The heat gets to them a little sooner. So here we go, very simple. Your next step, which makes it so easy, as you can see, no cleanup whatsoever. Very, very simple. Simply slide the dough onto, onto a baking sheet or a tray. You put it in the refrigerator for 30 to 35 minutes, or if you're in a big hurry and you have a freezer, you can slide it in the freezer. Come back and I will show you how to cut out the cookies. 